Welcome back to the Late Night Show. Or Glee. <laughs> Jazz hands. Uh, I want to welcome to the show right now his friend of the program. Well, I like to say that. It's probably too presumptuous for him. Uh, <laughs> but he was on our series, show last series. I want to welcome back to the show Lindsay Webb. Yeah. Thanks so much, Scott. <laughs> it's nice to be here. It seems like you've got a new caravan. Yeah. I yeah, like it. So we it widened it out a little bit. Put an awning on it. Good on you. <laughs> Yeah. You well, how That's you been? Good. Yeah, really good. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Is that it? That's, yeah, you can go. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I want to say this. Uh, you know, been a lot of people. Of course, the festival season had just finished. Yeah, and yeah. Gone. Uh, some and and I did a, a big salute to all the returning soldiers of comedy that have come back to prison. You've been everywhere. Yeah, I have. <laughs> I've uh, nearly everywhere. I have. I've been around the place. Is Superman all right? I think he, he's, <laughs> he's had a little bit of the green water. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> he'll just lay down there. there. All right, good. Have yeah. a little rest. Uh, yeah, I've been really busy, thanks. It's been great. Yeah, uh, so you're at Adelaide? Yes, I went to Adelaide, uh, then I went to Melbourne, then I went to Cairns, then I went to Sydney, I uh, went to Geelong. I'm, I'm going back to Adelaide. Huh? Go to New Zealand. Yeah. I got a lot, you're just got going back to Adelaide to uh, find that reviewer. Yeah. No, no, I'm yeah. in contact with that reviewer. When I say I'm in contact, I keep emailing them. Uh, <laughs> he's not replying anymore. He's seems scared. To have, he seems he's to have cut off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, things have been yeah, great, thanks. Been really, oh. really good. The, the really jerk reviewer. I've got a one-star review, Anne. Oh, no, I heard about yeah. it. The guy's a douchebag. What does he know? Yeah, nothing, Ignore clearly. it. Let it yeah. go. Wipe your ass. No, it? I'm all right. I went to Melbourne to the festival and got a four-star review. So, really, it's a five-star show. <laughs> Can't argue with the math, can you? <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> and, then, and then you brought it back home to do the yeah, I did final a, tour of the Did run at the sit down? Yeah, yeah, thanks. It's actually a bit sad. I, I did 47 performances of Pandemonium, and it's an hour long, so almost 50 hours on stage doing that show, which was quite random in itself. So it was, a, it was really fun. It was, I've enjoyed it. It's sad that it's gone. Uh, not just because it's gone, but because I have to write a new show now. <laughs> <laughs> and I need another hour by the start of November. No pressure. No, but just need, not at all. Just need another hour Thank you by God the start of November. <laughs> yeah. TikTok, um, TikTok. Maybe do some writing with Jordan Paris. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some, yeah, we could surf the net together. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. You too. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it's all there. Yeah, <laughs> poor kid. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's been, it's been a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to the next show. It's, right. uh, so what are the, good. any good road stories from, from you? Travels. Yeah, yeah, I have. I've got the ultimate road story. Can tell? Yeah, totally. Yeah, this one's a doozy. You'll love okay. it. It's a true story too. Uh, when I was in Melbourne for the for the festival, I got to go to Geelong. Have you ever been to Geelong? Yeah, yeah. Could have warned me. Uh, <laughs> it's quite, quite. I only place. drove through. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they hunted all of the bad people out of Melbourne and just kept hunting them until they went. Wait, that's an edge. They went good. You can have that. That's Geelong. <laughs> Uh, and then they build a heap of factories and chemical plants in between Geelong and, and Melbourne so that they wouldn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to Geelong, I was doing a show with Greg Fleet, who's a great comic from Melbourne, mm -hmm. uh, and he was hosting the show, I was closing the show this particular night, and I was on stage having a great time, about 10 minutes into my show. There's a lady at the front who was, it was elderly, right, let's say, she, she was a pensioner, and she was laughing and having a great time, and she looked like she was having so much fun that she was laughing and holding her face, which to me looked like she was trying to hold her teeth in. So I said, what are you doing there? You're having a good time. Looks like you're trying to hold your teeth in. She went, no, no, it's my eye. It's my eye. Yeah. So I said, seriously, right it's not a real eye, is it? And she's like, no, no. And I said, has it come out before? She's like, no. I said, what makes you think it's going to come out now? And she said, well, I feel like I'm laughing so much. I'm scrunching up my face. I feel the eye's going to pop out. And I was like, well, shit, we've got to see that, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, like it's a, you that's cannot, an opportunity you, you don't let go. You cannot promise a stunt like that and no, not do it. No, <laughs> exactly, exactly. So I was trying to make her laugh instantly. I was trying to make more jokes. I'm like, God, oh, do you want me to draw a circle on the stage and put some marbles in it so if your eye does come out, you could win something? Uh, and she started to laugh more and more, and I'm doing more jokes. She's laughing more, sometimes forgetting to hold onto her face. And then I, got, I instantly got, I got really guilty, right? I'm like, shit, this is not right. This lady's come to have a good night. I'm trying to make the eye pop out of her head. It just doesn't seem right. right? So I thought, oh, stop. Just stop. Reel it back. Talked to the guy on the other side of the table. I said, what's your name? They looked like they were together. And he said, oh, my name's Mitch. And I said, g'day, Mitch. Is this your bitch? He lost it, right? He hadn't laughed once throughout the entire evening. He laughed all at once. And just like, huh, just one laugh, right? Just like, huh, it was all too much for him. And drink came out of his nose. And I don't mean just a dribble either. I mean like an out-of-control post-mix machine. So he's just gone, huh, shh. And Roberta has seen that going, huh. No. True story. You, you can Google yeah, this. You can Google this. I know there's no eye in Google, but you yeah, can Google yeah, no. this. 
So the eye is just sailing across the top, right, in the light, and I'm I'm just losing. I'm laughing so much inside that I let a little bit of wee out. <laughs> just, just a little bit. Just an acceptable just, amount. Yeah. A little right? trickle. Because you know when you wee yourself, you've got to wait. You go, oh! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, that's all right. That's all right. That's, you've got to wait for it to wick away before it's you get to the first Somewhere between small stain and incontinent pants. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Well, yeah. yeah, it's a small transition between front of underwear and front of pants. For know? sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How much cloth protection have I got here? Good thing so I wear the button-ups today. Roberta, the lady, that's her name, she jumps up and goes, Oh, my eye! And I'm trying not to look into the cavity where the eyes come from, you know, and you're like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. God. It was Down like when someone says, Oh, there's a boob out. Don't look. You're like, Oh, I cannot stop myself. And so I looked straight in to the cavity and I'm pretty sure I saw how I die. Which was weird. <laughs> I was just thinking. But by this stage, by this stage, uh, Mitch, he's on the ground under the table looking around for the eye and he's come up with a chip. That's no good. He ate the chip. He's come back up with the eye. He passed it to Roberta and she's put it in her hand and I thought, well, the damage is done now. Let's have a crack, you know. I said, Roberta, do you have uh, different eyes for different days? <laughs> like if you wake up and one's bloodshot, do you have a bloodshot one you can put in? I said, well, you better put that one back in. It must be quite weird. You're sort of half watching me, half watching yourself. <laughs> Which must be handy when it comes out at home. Tom, where'd it go? I don't know. What can you see? Under the fridge? I'll get it. I've got this, yeah, got, got this weird spot on my back. <laughs> yeah, can you see it? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that might be a melanoma. <laughs> That's handy. Yeah, I better get that checked. Is it a boil or a government? And then she's just holding it and she goes to put it back in, but it won't go back in the socket, right? It wouldn't go back in. So she popped it back into her hand. Oh. She leaked it, right? Now, I don't know everything about hygiene, but that doesn't, that doesn't seem right. It doesn't, <laughs> no. like, you'd think bottled water as a starter yeah. would be a good place. <laughs> anyway, it worked. She's a genius. It went straight back in. Then she put her glasses on, which I thought was good, because if it pops out again, it just <laughs> yeah, yeah. rebound <laughs> back in. So, yeah, I got to Too see much. a lady's eye pop out from live on stage, and I reckon in 13 years of doing comedy, that's probably the funniest thing I've ever seen from on stage. Yeah, Apart I from would. a reflection of myself. <laughs> That's yeah. a kudos to you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a definitely a, a, a mark. You, did that make the review at all? Yeah, I didn't make the review. It so happened, funny your eyes were falling. Happened, yeah, <laughs> it happened after the review, but it did make the papers and we're on the radio and all sorts of stuff. Seven the was, paper, keep an eye out for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! Zinger! Uh, Lady finds it oh, hard to God. focus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I could start a comedy course. Think of all the pure Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Puns running wild! Uh, yeah. I, anyway. Uh, I just make a dick of myself. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> Don't worry, man. So, what, what, are you, what are you got planning for the next show, then? Uh, well, you know, this is a funny one. I've been in, I've been in pre-production for my next show, and I'm... I'm a good substantial way into sorting out the structure of the show and I'm having one of those moments where I'm like, I don't know if I want to do this show. Right. I, th I think I do. It's a show called Relative Humility. Right. Um, and it's the structure's written. I've got the nuts and bolts of it sorted out. But I, I don't know. I've, I wonder if there's not a better idea lurking around. And it's a bit of pressure. Like, to be honest, the last show, Pandemonium, was really great and I enjoyed it. And I thought that was the best show I've ever done. And the show before that was Hurry Up Jesus, which was great. And at the time, I thought that was the best show I ever did. That was the one that I got to tour through the States. And mm -hmm. now I've, I, I've, I think I might be feeling the pressure of that difficult third album. It's, it's, it, it will be my sixth one-hour show that I've written since I started doing festivals when I did my first festival show in... 2006 in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think, you know, I think I'm going to stick with relative humility, but watch this space. I might I, have a, another idea. I need to take you back. You said the words pre production. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I know you and you're a comedian. What does pre production mean? Yeah, that Getting means. Getting out of um, bed before noon. <laughs> uh, well, well, when I produce a show, I basically I run it in from November, December, so I should have the structure and the outline of the jokes by about October. This section leading into then is about working out whether there is an arc or a structure or a storyline to the show idea. Because every show that I've done starts with a title. Mm. You come up with a title and then try and write a show. So, you know, I came up with relative humility and went, yeah, I really like that. I, th I think it's good. And and now I'm trying to write the show for it. I'm like, I don't know mm. if this is Lots the best. Turns out jokes. they're just two catchy words. Yeah, they're just <laughs> two go well catchy together. words. Yeah. So I'm breaking down Einstein's theorem and yeah I know I know and last year I did 
you know, well, this year, what finished this year, but for the, for the festivals this year, the show that I did was, as you know, a lot of impro and, and a, lot, a lot less structure. So I guess I'm going back to the formula of what I've done before. And I'm also probably feeling a little bit of pressure because I've got a director for the first time ever. I've employed a director to help me with the show. He's another comedian by the name of Justin Hamilton, yeah. who's an amazing comedian and, and is fantastic at writing through lines and arcs and storyboards for shows. So yeah. I've brought him on board to help me improve my critical element of the show whilst I think the comedy is already there. Far out, this seems like a boring thing to talk about. But anyway, that's that's. No, I was, I, on the contrary, really <laughs> that's, that's on the contrary, I'm, I was actually thinking. <laughs> I, I even opened the door with the pre-production thing. You could have done drugs. <laughs> yeah, alcohol, yeah. I, I could have. I, I yeah, 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 yeah. See, I, you gave me an out. I, I didn't try, take it. I was trying <laughs> Thanks, to help. Almost you. worthy Thanks. sending camera crews around, <laughs> yeah, like right. document it for your DVD <laughs> or something. You know, I've got a new DVD coming out. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You mentioned the merch. Now we're into the merch. Mentioned the merch. Got T. Towels. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't. No, just really. coasters. Yeah. That you made yourself. No, oh, that's a good idea. Coasters. Uh, no, I've got a. I've I got a. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a little bit of them. Uh, yeah, I no, I've, I've filmed Pandemonium. Um, yeah. Because I try and I, I, I must admit I've only done a CD and one DVD in my career, and I've I've actually staggered those by two years each time. So my new DVD is due at the end of this year, and I'm going to release it in November, and it's going to be released online only and in some stores later at the start of the year. So it's a it's quite exciting. It's a new yeah. little a new little thing that I got. Happening. Do you think when you do the new DVD, you'll yeah. get Andrea from Andrea Thompson Photography to take the yeah. uh, photo shot again? It's funny you ask that, Mike. Yes, mate. Because uh, I've already booked in a session with Andrea Thompson. at Andrea Thompson Photography. Dot com. Com. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Is this the is. same Andrea Thompson that took the photos that are at the beginning and end of why, every segment of why this? Why, yes, Scott. <laughs> I, I, wow. I seem to recall that name. She did my promo shots. I, I believe you. I believe you came to my home. Yes. <laughs> to yeah. get those that shots Andrea taken. Thompson. Where, where, where was that? Where you? Yeah, where was that website again? Oh, hey, that's, this is a real coincidence. Andrea Thompson from andreathompson.com.au yeah. also did the photos for my previous DVD. Wow. Hey. And for wow. the last four shows that I've wow. done. Yeah, and you oh, can't, you can't put and also a, a, a my limit wedding on talent. She also quality. she did the photos for my wedding. She's a great wedding uh, photographer. She's she done she some did. awesome things for yeah. me. I can tell you. Yeah, she did family portraits for my entire family. Well, I've only just <laughs> remembered all of this. I did look at her website and yeah. perused her work, and yeah. I have to say it's well worth having a look. Did you see me there? Did you? <laughs> Did you see me there? Her name is on my DVD, on the spine. Right right now, there's some guy looking over the guidelines of what we're actually allowed to say on the yeah. TV show, and he's yeah. going, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> he should call Andrea Thompson. <laughs> he should chill out and go to andreathompson.com.au. There's some really relaxing photos. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. But what about your website? I mean, I know andreathompson.com.au is fantastic. Yeah. Hey, my website is uh, comedyweb.com. Can, you can find two all the uh, yep two B's like my surname. I know I know. I see what I'm doing there. Yeah, uh, yeah check it out. It's got a, 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 com a comprehensive gig guide uh, <laughs> and all the information <laughs> you could possibly want. And I think there's actually a link to Andrea Thompson <laughs> <laughs> Photography <laughs> dot com dot au. Yeah. That is not that is not made up. No, yeah, and if you want to go to our website, which also, <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Andrew. <laughs> Thank you for making us look good. Do you think my next session's going to be cheaper with Andrew? <laughs> no, no, double. No. Jeez, <laughs> yeah. you got a DVD coming. Up. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, we're out of time. We're probably even running out. I want to thank you very much, Lindsay, for being on the show. Check out Lindsay. Thanks very Lindsay much, Andrea. Mike Redak for being on. <laughs> <laughs> on the program as well. Cheers. Uh, you can go to our website for all the information on that. Thank you, Anne, for enjoying your yoga. Andrea. Oh, Anne. And Andrea. Anne. Anne. <laughs> thanks, Anne. Anne. And thanks for being on for 10. I hope you're on for at least 10 more. Thank you. Uh, I shall, hopefully. And we'll see you next week on a late night show. <laughs>